episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrish Natural Food for Cats. Hello, welcome to Weird, Gross, and Beautiful, a casual discussion about animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or all three. And today we are talking about red foxes. Obligatory, what does the fox say joke? Red foxes can live just about anywhere. If humans all come into their habitat, which we're bound to do, they can adapt to that too. They're like farms? Fine. Suburban areas? I need some of that chicken. Bring it on. The kids think I'm adorable anyway and I'll give them rabies. Foxes have very bushy tails. In fact, they're a little bit like famous for their bushy tails, right? Like a cat's tail, they use it for balance, but also when they are sleeping outdoors, they will wrap it around them like a big bushy blanket and keep warm. And they'll also use it like a flag signal to other foxes. I don't know why that's so cute. I guess it's similar to us being like, high and waving, but these with their big bushy tails, they're like, yo, what's up? What you doing Saturday night? They're like, oh, you know, trying to stay alive. And they're like, cool, me too. We have so much in common. We should meet up in the winter and mate. Cause that's when they meet up in the winter and mate. That was a seamless transition. <laughs> and the mama fox, the vixens will give birth to two to 12 puppies at a time. Imagine if when you got pregnant, it was guaranteed that you were gonna have twins or more. Sorry, I blacked out for a second. That was so terrifying. <laughs> and once the puppies are born, both of the parents will stay together and take care of the puppies until they are old enough to go out on their own in the fall. They're like, we're staying together for the kids. We just gotta make it to the fall. Red foxes are omnivores, meaning they will eat actually anything. They eat rodents, they eat reptiles, they eat eggs, they eat garbage. They don't care at all. Did you catch the part where I said garbage? They're like, yeah, that looks like a piece of plastic. I'm gonna put that in my mouth and digest it. I don't think they can eat plastic. <laughs> Sometimes foxes will make a den. Uh, of their own, but more commonly they will go into a woodchuck den, eat the woodchuck, and be like, wow, they got a pretty sweet little pad right here. Good, we'll just like move in some furniture over here, just improve the den, and then I'm just gonna hang out here. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> fox is straight up rude. What does the fox say? Who really ever wondered that though? I guess a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching We're Gross and Beautiful. My name is Katie Wayne, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Wayne and request an animal for me to cover. This week's animal was suggested by JP O'Leary. And if you much feel like it, please check out these other videos right here, specifically this one with me and my friend Ross Everett. What a sweetheart. Please subscribe to the channel, and I will love you. I know, I do love you. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Thanks again to Rachel Ray Nutrish for sponsoring this episode.